Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and the playlist F4 Fundamentals. Today we are diving into something that every web developer must know. Yes, we are going to talk about HTTP methods. When you speak in any language, you care for nouns and verbs, isn't it? HTTP methods are the verbs of internet. Using HTTP methods, you tell what actions to take on your data. You want to read the data, you want to add data, you want to update the complete data, you want to update a portion of data, or you want to delete the data. HTTP methods are mandatory for it. So let's get started with the understanding of them. And don't worry, I'm going to make it real fun for you with visuals and analogies. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. This is a prominent protocol for transmitting data on internet between a client and the server. And how you communicate between client and server through request and response. So when you send any request, you tell something to be done with the resources that are there on the server. And that something to be done is to be specified using the HTTP methods. Whenever you build or interact with your API, you use HTTP methods. Using that, you tell your server, what to do with your resources like users, products, orders, etc. For an example, if you visit a website, you might be reading some resources from the server. That's where you'll be using a HTTP method like get. Or you're filling up a form and then submitting a form. That's where you will be using another HTTP method called post. So like that, there are several HTTP methods. Let's understand one by one what are they used for and how to use them. If you go to INA website, Internet Assigned Number Authority website, and come to HTTP method registry list, you will find 30 HTTP methods listed over here. Now, we don't use all these methods in real life in our programming. We'll be using eight or nine, and out of that, maybe four or five that are very, very commonly used. So let us focus on the commonly used HTTP methods first. We are going to talk about nine HTTP methods. Those are get, post, put, patch, delete, head, options, stress, and connect. The first method, get. The purpose of the HTTP method get is to retrieve data from server. As we're seeing in this diagram, there is a client and there is a server. Using the get method, the client is trying to retrieve the product data from the server. As part of the response, the product data come back to the client and then client can work with the product data to do something further. You think it about reading a menu at the restaurant. You are just looking into the menu. You are not changing anything. You are not ordering anything. You are just looking into to understand what is that particular restaurant served to you and what are you going to order. The next method we're going to talk about is post. The purpose of this method is to send a new data to the server. So again, there is a client and there is a server. And from client, you send a new data to the server so that you can create a resource. In this case, the example shows that you are sending a product data from client to server to create a new product information on the server. And once that new product information has been created, a new resource has been created, you get a response back from the server to client that the new product data has been created successfully. You also get a HTTP code back. In this case, it is 201, which is created. Again, if we have to take the analogy, just like we did with get, the analogy for post HTTP method will be, you're done with reading the menu. You have done your food selection. Now you want to place the order. So placing an order is a right analogy for the post HTTP method. You tell the waiter what you want and they create it for you and then they serve it to you. So this creation part of the new dish that you want to eat, something like a post HTTP method. After post, let us talk about put. While the get HTTP method is to get the resource, post HTTP method to create the resource, the put HTTP method we use to replace an existing resource completely. So here, client makes a put call to replace an existing resource on the server with a new resource. Here the analogy would be that you have already placed an order, like you wanted a pizza. Now suddenly you change your mind. You are no more interested in eating pizza, rather you want to eat burger. So you want to cancel your pizza order and you want to give the new order for burger. So you will call the waiter and say, hey, I want to update my order from pizza to burger. So you replace the pizza order completely 
and put a new order which is burger so in that case you will be using the put method and rightly so if you are using put method you have to identify a proper resource that you want to update so in this case you are saying slash product slash seven it means that you are trying to identify a particular product whose id could be number seven so that you can replace the information of that particular product with the new information i hope it makes sense to you let's go to the next http method which is patch now there is often confusion between put and patch put is for updating the entire resource patch is for updating the resource partially what does it mean it means the same thing like previously you have replaced your pizza order with burger that's fine but what if you ordered a pizza now you felt like you want to have some extra cheese on top of it so you are not really replacing your pizza order rather you want to put some cheese on top of it you just want to modify your order a little bit you want to add a special characteristic to a pizza so that's how when you want to update a part of a resource that is where you will be using the patch method again you have to identify a resource using an id in this case also you are seeing that we are identifying a product using the id 7 and then once we have identified the product on the server we are just replacing a particular attribute of it using the patch method after patch we are going to talk about delete as the name suggests this particular http method is used for removing a resource an analogy for this would be you have already placed an order for pizza and now you feel like oh man i don't want to eat here i want to cancel this order again just like post and patch you have to identify the resource that you are going to delete that's what we are doing using users slash five we're identifying a resource on the server and then just deleting it once the deletion is successful we'll get a response back by the way here the http response code shows 200 which is for success but for operation like delete you might also want to send some additional http status code and if you are interested to learn more about http status code comment on this video i'm going to make one for you very soon also if you like this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment on this and don't forget to subscribe of course so let's move on let's go from delete to the next method which is head now we are getting into the methods which are not so commonly used we have already covered the methods that are very very commonly used head is used only for getting the headers not the body with the get http method you get the content on the head http method you get only the headers what could be the analogy then in this case the analogy could be you ask the waiter if the dish is still available without seeing or ordering it you feel like having pizza before even you look into the menu before even you order the pizza you just ask the waiter hey man do you have pizza today that's what that's what you do with head to get some information about the headers after head let's talk about options another http method which you may not be using very often but you will be using to find out which http methods are allowed on a particular resource for example you have a resource called post like blog post you want to understand what are the other different http methods that are allowed on this particular post resource that's when you will be using the options http method here the options method are like you ask the restaurant what your restaurant offer can i dine in here or you support takeaway or can i order online now based on the options that your restaurant give whether you want to dine in or you want to take away or you can order online or you can do all of them then you choose like what you want to do right so that's exactly the options method also you first use the options method to find out what are the different other http methods that are allowed on the resource whether get is allowed or post is allowed and then accordingly you can use those methods i hope it is clear to you so after options the next method we're going to talk about trace this is one thing you will be using list but it's still good to know this mostly used for debugging what is the use of it the traditional use of the trace http method is to echo back a request for example you make a request and you want to get the echo of the request is something like you have read the menu with your get method and after reading the menu you placed an order but before the waiter go back to the kitchen and tell the chef hey chef this is the order can you create it using post call you want to hear back what are the things that you have ordered to that waiter you do it very often at least i do after ordering to the waiter i want him or her to read back what are the things that i have ordered so that there is no misunderstanding there is no mismatch this is exactly like the press http method you say something to the waiter and ask them to repeat it back to confirm they heard you correctly 
that is what it is i hope it is clear let's go to connect connect establishes a tunnel for secure communication for example https via proxy let's say you and your partner went to a public restaurant but you care for privacy then you ask the manager hey manager do you have some private room where me and my partner can sit and can talk quietly because we want some kind of privacy and the confidentiality this is what the connect does where it can establish a tunnel between a client and server for any kind of secure communication i hope it was useful let's do a lightning recap of the things get just look post add new put replace all patch update partially delete remove head get the metadata only options to know what is allowed trace and eco test and connect establishing a tunnel to do a secure communication short and sweet i hope this analogies made the understanding of http methods easier for you if you liked it please like this video please share this video with your developer buddies and don't forget to subscribe to tapas script so that you don't miss more web dev wisdom i am going to bring for you check out my initiative 40 days of javascript the playlist through which we learn javascript very fundamentally with projects and assignments i've given the link to it in the description of this video as well please drop a comment below let me know if it was useful see you soon again with the next one signing off